Is this the best printer I've ever used? So over the course of the past year and a half, I have used three printers. I've used the Editor 3 Pro, the Sermon D1, and this printer, the uh, CR10 V3. And I've come to realize that this printer is probably the best one I've used. Sure, the Editor 3 Pro is a great starting printer for a cheap price, but really, is it a reliable tool? Well, apparently it wasn't. And the Sermon D1 was a good printer. It was enclosed, it had a good UI, but I just didn't like it. So today we're gonna to be talking about the CR10 V3 and why you should buy it. Here are some pros and cons about the CR10 V3. The CR10 V3 has normal UI options like move access, auto home, the temperature and the control panel, the language, print from the SD card, and it's just pretty good. It has all the information and I'm a fan of it, even though it's not touchscreen. Now the specs of the actual printer. The CR10 V3 is a very nice printer with a build plate of 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters by 400 millimeters. So that's very convenient if you want to make tall parts. The extruder is a direct drive extruder, as you can see, and it has a filament sensor if you want to use it. The extruder is not a Creality extruder; it's an E3D extruder, which I really like compared to the Ender 3 Pro and the Sermon D1. My printer now has the magnetic PEI bed but it originally comes with a regular glass bed. I've used this filament sensor a few times and it's so worth it when you run out of filament. I was halfway in between a part and it just fixed it and it was just great. It stopped the print, it told me I should redo it, and I can like tweak the controls if it's a different PLA too on the user interface. And if we just flip around the printer real quick, you can see it has dual Z axis rods to keep the gantry more stable. Another thing about this printer that I like is that this is just the bare bones of the printer. The necessities to keep the printer working. And all of the brains and power supply is inside this big box right here. And I'm a fan of it. Now let's spin the printer back around. And you can see it has these two supporting rods to keep the Y axis gantry stable. It has a filament holder which can fit probably a two kilogram uh, roll of filament, like Prusimit. And the printer by itself is very lightweight. There are a few cons with the printer though, and let's get to that. One thing I have to complain about this printer is the fans. They are so abnormally loud that it just annoys the heck out of me. Like when this fan and this fan and this fan are all on, it's like an earthquake is happening. Like, you can't hear anything because the printer is so loud. Also, another con for me is that I wish this printer had the metal knobs, but I don't really mind it. It can still work, but I just like the metal knobs for durability. Another thing I don't like about this printer is that it's a $400 printer, but it does not have belt tensioners on either axis. And that's probably one of the saddest parts about this printer other than the fans, but yeah, I really wish it had the belt tensioners just to make it more convenient for the uh, consumer who's buying a $400 printer. One more con I forgot is that when you feed filament through right here, it's kind of hard to get in. You have to like rotate the filament to get it in somehow. I don't know why, but it just works when you rotate it. That's where I've learned at least. Another con about this printer is all these wirings and stuff that are behind but other than that it's a clean look and i love it one of the coolest things that i haven't tried with this printer is the extruder change you can actually take this extruder off and make it a bowden extruder on this bracket over here if you really want to but honestly i'm a fan of the direct drive because it can be a faster printer when it's direct drive and it can be um less retraction and better cooling so, do I think you should buy this printer? Absolutely. This printer is a workhorse and I've had it for like seven months now and it's amazing. So yes, I totally recommend this for any person who wants to start 3D printing and um, spend a few hundred bucks on a printer because this printer is a workhorse, it's very convenient and you can just print, you can just print right away with it. 
At the time I'm filming this, we only have 98 subscribers, and when we get 200, I will give away a Silver Banshee and a Silver Banshee Dry Dock. So let's get there. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace. Thank you.